Thanks, Sandra. New data coming in from officials in Tennessee is showing just how damaging the pandemic has been on student learning. The number of students testing below their grade level has increased by four percentage points since 2019. Tennessee Education Commissioner Penny Schwinn joins us now. Penny, thank you for being with us. Let me just put some statistics up on the screen so people can see the change. First of all, in math, in 2019, 31% of students were below grade level. 2021, it was 44%. In science, 2018, uh, which was the previous uh, year for data, 19% were below grade level. 2021, that increased to 24%. English language arts, 2019, 19% performing below grade level. 2021, that increased to 21%. Some specific grades saw double-digit declines in performance. Clearly, remote learning, COVID, social isolation, has had a dramatic effect on our children. Absolutely, and that's why it's so incredibly important that our children are back in classrooms as we move into this school year. Those students who were in person for learning saw fewer declines than those that were remote, and we know, and Governor Lee has been a strong advocate for getting kids back in school and making sure we can make up those gains and accelerate faster than ever. You know, when you take a look at the situation across the country, obviously Tennessee is just one small example of what's <laughs> going on. Uh, I read some statistics from a recent McKinsey report of 40 states. On average, take a look at this. This is really stunning. On math, students were an average of five months behind as a result mm -hmm. of the pandemic. In reading, four months behind. Most disadvantaged students were hit the hardest. A majority black schools, six months of unfinished learning, and low-income schools, seven months of unfinished learning. How do we make that back up? Yeah, and you know, we're seeing similar trends here in Tennessee with our economically disadvantaged students and those students who are in remote learning. That's why we are investing all of our resources into moving academic progress forward. We're investing in high dosage tutoring for students to ensure all of those kids get access to small group instruction. We're investing a ton in early reading because we know our kids have got to be proficient readers in phonics first instruction by third grade. And we also want to make sure our high school students, where we saw 14 to 16 point dips in math mathematics, that they are on track so when they graduate from high school, they can be productive in their careers. It's incredibly important that we invest our dollars wisely, especially with so much federal relief funding coming in. Every single penny counts, and it needs to go towards kids. The, the McKinsey report also found that there is long-term economic impact from this as well. Loss mm -hmm. of lifetime earning for K-12 students who went through the COVID remote learning uh, situation, 49000 to $61,000 in lost income over a lifetime. So, I mean, the rubber hits the road when it comes actually to how much money you can earn. But there are also mental health impacts as well that will likely last, if not a lifetime, years and years. That's right, and we're seeing that even in early reports from our districts, that students are coming, especially when they were isolated, when they were quarantined at home, not having that engagement with their peers. That's just more work that is happening in schools that's taking away from academics. And so we have to invest in ways that ensure our students get whatever they need in school so they can access that critical academic instruction that's happening each and every day. Now look, one of the things I'm most concerned about is that these are students over the next 10 and 20 years that are not going to have the same opportunities, and that's going to impact our economy and certainly, as you mentioned, their lifetime earnings and our country. And so part of what we are really thinking about here in Tennessee is how we invest strategically so that we can mitigate and prevent some of those long-term consequences for kids and ensure our state is on track, we are open for business, and we want every single child to be successful. And that's All where right. our money's going to go. The kids and the teachers are going to have to work hard to make up for lost ground. Penny Schwinn, that's thank right. you for joining us with your perspective. Appreciate it.